Okay, joined by Michal Dunne, who Dublin Senior Hurling Manager. Uh, looking ahead to the Leinster final this Saturday evening at Crow Park. Dublin versus Kilkenny, six o'clock throw in. Michal, a big week for Dublin Hurling. How's preparation going? Yeah, it's going really well. Uh, focused very much on recovery last week. Now we're back at it and, and really looking forward to the game this weekend. Yeah, as I mentioned, a big week for Dublin Hurling. I'm sure there'll be plenty of nerves around the camp because it's a big game as it is for any big game, I'm sure. What will your message be this week to the lads? Our message hasn't changed, really. We just go from game to game and, and the importance of the next one being the most important one that has stood as well right throughout the round robin and uh, we haven't altered or changed anything in our preparation for, for the game we're just focusing on ourselves and, and trying to get a big performance Can you assess the uh, Leinster Championship campaign overall so far? I think it's very because it's very compact the round robin is it's obviously very competitive uh, I think for any team to, to progress through it, similar to Munster, it's, you have to take it game by game. I know that's the old cliche, but you have to take it game by game and just navigate yourself through that round robin stages and and obviously with the goal of, of trying to get it out of the, the group stages. Yeah, and from that point of view, we saw uh, obviously the, the draw against Wexford, the, the win over Carlo. There's a three-week block after that. You had a break after Carlo and a three-week block. Big performances here in Parnell Park against Antrim and against Kilkenny and then the last day against Galway. You must be delighted with that three-week block and the performances that you were able to put in the, in those three games and the performance, I guess, level heading into this weekend. Yeah, but I think that's it with Championship. You know, once you, once you have the first one out of the way and we did well to get a point out of that Wexford game and then, you know, the message to the lads very much so was that we, we had to improve every day we went out. You know, that started with training and, and then we had to bring it into each game as they came along. And as you said, that three-week block you know, turned out to be really good for us. Uh, you know, with with good results, you get confident, and you could see that you know surging through the team. And you know, the message to the lads constantly was, you know, we were on the upward trajectory. You know, but we needed to keep that going. And when you stay in the championship, that's very much your goal. Do you know what I mean? That you, you have to improve. And you know, as you asked me earlier, nothing changes. You know, that's that's the goal of us. Every night we're here training and getting ready for the game we have to get better every night yeah you mentioned confidence it must be high though heading into the Leinster final this weekend now after the what we've done over the past weeks what we've seen over the past few weeks confidence will be good heading into this weekend yeah it is and you can see that in in the way the lads are playing and in fairness to them you know there's a bit of it a fair bit of experience in it but predominantly it's a very young squad but equally you know they have to take responsibility and accountability you know I've said that many times they, they have to do that and I think that's very much evident that the air, they understand the responsibility that that uh, that is bestowed upon them, and how lucky they are to play for for Dublin. So, um, with that, I think that's been very much reflective in the in their performances uh, in in a very positive way. And as I said, hopefully that can continue. We were here in Parnell Park uh, against uh, Antrim and against Kilkenny, and there was massive support. Uh, for those two games and we saw especially against Kilkenny how that really kind of kicked on the team and drove the team on uh, how important was that support in those in those two days and how important will it be this weekend against Kilkenny in the Leinster final yeah hugely like through the round robin stages when you have your home game every every team puts huge emphasis on the home games and to go with that obviously you want a massive crowd and, and you know for us on the pitch the lads on the pitch they have to be performing to get the crowd engaged and, and I think the lads duly did that and in fairness, the crowd responded brilliantly. Uh, you know, it was a great atmosphere here, particularly for the Kilkenny game, full house here in Parnell Park. So, you know, uh, the lads in a Leinster final now, so hopefully the crowd can come out and support them. It's Kilkenny again this weekend. Uh, obviously, we played them a few weeks back, so I'm sure that's going to play a part. What sort of, what can you expect from them this weekend? What sort of challenge can you expect? And will that game play a part in the, in the Leinster final this weekend? Uh, look, Kilkenny are one of the top teams in the country. Huge respect for, for them and for Derek for the job that they've done. They're, they're doing really well. Um, obviously, a very tight game here when we played them a few weeks ago, but no two games are the same, you know, and that's, that's been our message, uh, you know, so... It's just to make sure that we're ready for it and as I said earlier, it's just concentrating ourselves and, and making sure we put our best foot forward.